Well, hello, this is Alex, and as I may have mentioned in some of my other movies, I am in the process of moving cross-country, um, and uh, so I am staying in a hotel tonight, and as m many of you know, there have been a number of, move of uh, videos, YouTube videos, on the deficiencies of hotel room safes and some of the other sort of consumer safes, so I thought I'd take a look at this little safe mark system safe that happens to be in my room. Pardon the uh, jitter on the camera, I'm doing this with my cell phone rather than uh, rather than my better camera. Um, so it looks like, you know, your normal hotel room safe, a uh, nice thick looking door, um, you know, steel bolts, etc. Um, if we come around on the inside, um, nothing special, it's got a little instruction booklet and some other stuff. Um, I don't know how well you can see, but in the back you can actually see the wood. In fact, you can see my finger here, behind here. So there's holes where you could potentially access it, and you can. The metal is not terribly thick on the the ba back and sides. The front is, and it is. It is. Uh, can you even see? Yeah, it's bolted to this uh, armoire that it's in. So um, you know, you'd have to destructively. You could destructively remove it without a whole lot of trouble. Um, if you come around to this side, um, this is the back of the door, and one thing you'll notice is that there's a little panel here, and I've not tried to remove it because it's not mine, um, but many of the safes that have, I've seen on, uh, on TV, or I'm sorry, on YouTube, um, there's a button here or something, there's like a little battery door, there's a button to reset the combination, and on this one there isn't. Um, I assume there's something like that behind this door. Um, but it's protected. The door is some kind of relatively thick plastic with a, uh, what is that? It's a, some kind of security Torx looking thing. Um, around the corner, I haven't really been able to see this that well, but actually that's the battery pack right there, isn't it? So this must be some kind of maintenance port. So batteries are outside the case, and this entire door is, uh, all of the edges are, are solid. Basically, so there's no way you could shove a wire in here and poke at some reset switch or something like that. So that's one of the standard vulnerabilities you find. Um, if we come around here and close the door, um, the other vulnerability that a lot of people have reported is um, really crappy locks. Uh, it's sort of a, a I guess, a, a fail-safe in, in case you forget the combination or the the uh, owner needs to get in. Um, and this one, you see this little disc here. Um, which I'm having trouble filming because the uh, door keeps wanting to open on me. But there's this little disc, and you can see it spins around. It's actually held in by a, a magnet, a permanent magnet. And if I can hold the camera in one hand and operate my pocket knife in the other, you will see that behind the door is a Medico lock. And let's see if I can apologize for the... Um, where's the light? Let's see if I can dim this out a little bit for for God's sake. There you can see it's a Medico. And you can see the, the keyway there. Um, so a lot of these had you know wafer wafer tumbler locks and stuff like that. This actually got a pretty decent in fact it's a biaxial Medico UL listed. So that I'd say that's a you know that's a reasonable lock to have on a on a hotel room safe. Um, you're not going to win any security awards with it, but it's certainly uh, reasonable. And then that just, uh, it just goes right back on there. And then it's got the standard, you know, enter your little code and hit go or whatever kind of stuff on there. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I don't know if, uh, you know, the, uh, the manufacturers have, um, you know, taken heed of some of the uh, warnings and vulnerabilities that have been pointed out. Um, by the likes of us, or if, um, you know, they're just, uh, maybe they're just making a better quality product, but this, uh, or maybe this hotel just has a particularly good uh, system, but, um, you know, I think this is a reasonable, safe for, you know, keeping your passport or whatever in. It's going to certainly keep the casual thief out, um, and, uh, you know, if someone really wants to get in your stuff, they certainly could, you know, rip this off the armoire and take it with them, but they'd make a lot of noise and, you know, a mess. So, um, I'd say it's a major improvement. The one bypass I've not 
examined is possibly you know going through this this keypad display thing. I've seen various exploits like that, but I think I would have to damage this thing. And again, it's not mine, so I'm not going to do that. Nor am I going to try to pick this Medico uh, lock on here. Um, but uh, because it would, I don't want to really want to stand here for an hour to get the damn thing open. So there you go. So a Safe Mark Systems Hotel Safe, and I would say this is a pretty decent one as they go. So anyway. This is Alex, thanks for watching, and uh, have fun, and please keep it legal. Cheers.